What's up, guys? So, I, uh, I got to hit a little late this morning. And they're already off the roost and nowhere near. So, I, uh, went to the blind. It was flipped over because of the wind, I'm guessing. Which is strange because all of them, all the stakes were out of the ground, which is weird. Anyway, I flipped it back over and then I set my front blind back over and walked across the fence and to the other fence and started calling and I had uh, like four or five gobblers to sound off, but way far away. So I said, the heck with it, I'm gonna pack up and move the blind to where I know they're crossing in the afternoons and then going back to roost. So if I've already set that blind up underneath a tree. I already got my decoy set out probably about uh, 15, 20 yards out. And uh, I sounded off a couple gobblers. They sound, they didn't sound too far off, but I don't know. We'll see when I get in the blind. I'm almost to it right now. I'm probably about 60 yards away. And then I'll get in that blind and I'll see y'all in there and I'll start calling. See if I can get a gobbler in before 10 or 11 o'clock this morning. Because there's stuff, other stuff to do. Which is always fun. Alright, so I took a break from the turkeys. Came out here. <coughs> of my place I hunted uh, up to December last year. And then I had all them deer just disappear. Hogs too. Nothing. No tracks, nothing. Come out here a few weeks ago. And I had a I had just one set of tracks. I was like, alright, you know what? I'll come back in a month or so. I'll well, come back out here to walk just now and there's tracks. I wouldn't say there's tracks everywhere, but there's more tracks and more trails now being used than there was last season. There's one trail going this way that hadn't been used in about a year and they're using it and then this trail I'm on, they're using it as the main trail, main access point to the back from the front. Right there at the gate, there's a, there's a, a, a set of buck tracks and some doe tracks is on the road going Towards the barn, and then I've seen seen a, quite a few beds back there in the back. There's a uh, there's probably ten plus beds, and so I set a camera up on the main trail, and there's a a few beds in that one spot, and then the tracks some tracks going through. So set that cell cam in there, and I already got pictures. You know, from just for me walking off, so you know it's working. It's a funny thing, I couldn't get it to see. Like this trail right here is being used right behind me. I don't know if you see it, but I always use this one. I always use it to go around up that stuff, but they're coming right through it, through it, through it straight through it. So, unless I know there's deer out here or something, you know, at least. Probably, there's probably some, probably some hogs out here too. There's a trail going back through there, it's being used. <coughs> But you can tell they're starting to get back in here, so I might uh might hunt tomorrow morning for turkey and then drive out here and maybe put some maybe put some big time out. And then I'll go I'll set a a trail camera on the feeder, see what goes and gets it. Um I still have to do something about my my Stealth cam that got broke, so I heard back from the other part just emailing again. <clears throat> Other than that, I can put my my cell link on there and put it with a regular camera. But see all this laid down stuff right behind me and stuff? We're all beds, beds, and then trails being used. So they're, they're in here. They're in here. So hopefully it's it's a lot of deer, not pigs. But I doubt it. 
I've never walked up on a pig out here in the slow stuff. It's always been the thick stuff behind me on the neighbors. I don't know. But this trail I'm on is the main trail that I always take and use. And it's, it's being used. I don't think I'm going to walk back that way. I might check this creek. For, uh, see what's crossing it. If there's anything crossing it. And if I find anything, I'll let you know. Got a hen out there. She was on the other side of me. She's pretty good now. She's still, she's still way over there. <laughs> Just wish she had a, team, a tom following her, but she don't. Hopefully she sticks around. Comes over here and investigate. I don't think she has a beard on her. Nothing I can see. There's no she's beardless. I got turkey over here. Still no toms. I don't know where they're at. <laughs> I only had one tom gobble, and that was when I got here. And then I've seen him, and then I haven't heard him or seen him since. So, I don't tell him where he went. <coughs> she might come over here, hold on. across the street. There she goes, right on the fence. Right on the fence and over the road. She gone. Rip gate. She had a tom with her. No, she don't. Mm, she don't. I can't see her now. Oh well. She gone. Now does that tom come over here? That was one of our Baker Boys mouth calls that we make and sell. Sounded pretty good. I don't know what's going on. Turkeys are kicking my butt this year. I almost shot that one and I got lucky on that one. I caught it right over. Hear none or see any. I 
Cause this wind ain't helping either. I'm usually covered up the turkeys. Storm looks like it's brewing up over there. It's pretty cool. Let's see if y'all can see it. Out over there. Yep, storm brewing up. How pretty. Over that way, don't come this way. That's pretty cool. Big old storm. Something I don't want to mess with while I'm hunting. Out there, about 23 yards. My sight's off two yards, so I have it set at 25. I think that's why I missed that coyote the other day. <coughs> and here comes the wind again. Test out this my spring green that I made a couple of years ago. the back of it. Let's run another. I got a little chip over here. I got uh, stepped on or something happened. Like kind of a truck hauling butt too. Oh, well, well, got my hunting license with me. Rabbit land, I'm good. Got permission, so. I'll turn this off. Continue looking for turkey. And if I see any, I'll let y'all know. Well, that's the end of that one. Could never get anything close. Uh, had two jakes coming in and <coughs> had some deer scare them and then they would never come in uh had a hen coming probably i don't know 80 yards or so she never came in and there was two gobblers chasing the hen out in the wheat field over here where all the deer are and i seen two pigs over there two big ones <coughs> but i never got anything in uh I got tomorrow and Sunday to hunt. And that's it for turkey season. 
I'm gonna try to get permission to hunt deer out here, but I think I can. I'm not real sure. There are a lot of deer out here. I mean, not on this property specifically, but around. I've seen probably close to 20 deer a day. Probably the same ones, but it's, it butts it butts up against some pretty good ag fields and wheat fields now, fossil fields. So. There's some deer here. So until the morning, signing off. All right, I finally made it out here before the sun even comes up. I'm walking to the blind right now. I can hear him gobbling over there on the roost. Um, I don't know if they're down yet. I don't know if they flew down on or not. I'll have to check when I get over to the blind and look. It's a, it's a nice, calm, foggy morning. It's cold. It's probably about 45 degrees. I think I had a real good opportunity to get them this morning. Let's go, stay tuned. So I've got some birds goblin. They're down off the roost, so I've got some three or four of them where the regular roost is and uh, a couple of them where I had my blind uh, the other day. I'm gonna call and see if I can get any answer on video and see if you can hear it. Volume up. Back here, somewhere around there, sound like they're back that way. Like two or three of them. <clears throat> I look at the sunrise, yeah. This sunrise, isn't that just beautiful? That cloud in behind it. That's a really cool sunrise. Anyway, it's foggy out here. There are other roosters back this way. So, I'm gonna keep calling, I'm getting blind. Let's see if I have anything come in. Stay tuned. What's up? So I'm here in the blind and <coughs> I had a I had a gobbler just rip one right out in front of me it sounded like it was real loud like it was in an enclosed environment so he was either on the outside on the other side of this shelter boat that's in front of me or he's in it I haven't heard him since but I've got two I think two or three birds gobbling just behind me over here Listen. Fired up this morning. I like it. I like to just <coughs> on the side of this berm over here. I don't know where this one is. Kind of sound like they're going off already. 
hope not, cause. Cause you go off a different direction. Should have saw just going off. Or he just he just shut up. Give us one last call and I'm gonna shut up. Sounds like he's going off. Man. <sighs> Tried. We'll see. Well, I gotta say, these turkeys are kicking my butt. <laughs> never had any in the field. I never had any files in the blind that I could see. Only ones I've seen is when I got out of the blind got to where I could actually see to glass and I seen turkeys everywhere on this east side of the road and I thought one was coming to me so I got back in the blind and then 30 minutes went by and nothing I got back out and I don't know where he was where it went. I called and called and Mitchell had one fire off. I mean, it was a long way away and I've never seen him. I seen three more. They went east again. So, I don't know. Oh, it's weird here. I'll be up back here this afternoon, maybe. Same, same spot. They should eventually come across and pass right in front of me. Or at least come to the decoys. But they hadn't been since I set it up. I only set it up yesterday. But who knows? We'll figure something out. Right, back out here for the afternoon hunt. <coughs> throw a little twist on this evening boys I got a whole slew of decoys <coughs> it's mainly a strut tom I think there's a jake in there too I'm gonna throw that strut tom out there with my flock of decoys See if I can get some, some big boys coming in. Let's see if I can double up on some, some toms this afternoon. I got four arrows, three tags. Let me feel. Last day Sunday. It'll be today and Sunday. It'll be my last two days. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can double or even triple up today and end the season on a good note. The deer season can go my way. Shot a spike with three days left in the season. Turkey season hadn't gone my way. I shot a two-year-old dom. Birds this morning didn't come my way. Let's see what happens this afternoon. I'm heading to the blind right now to set up these decoys. I'll probably set them... I'll probably set them around 20 yards this afternoon. I had them a little close this morning. But we will see if I can't get a double or even just a little top. I will see. I'll check back with y'all when I get to the blind and start setting the decoys up. Alright, this is what I'm dealing with and I just heard another gobble. 
I don't know where yet, but I heard one. Sound like off in the field, but there's my spread. Got the two in the front are 20, three in the back part 22. And I've already heard some gobblers. So I'm gonna shut up the call. See if we can't get a bird, y'all. You fucking fucking motherfucker. Are you being serious? You cunt fucking motherfucker. No, what? Seriously, bro? What the hell just happened? You just walked on by. You paying attention? You gobbled just didn't come by. <laughs> Faggot.
Okay. Go. They're still down here. He got over the way he came in. What the hell? That's a faggot for you. And that truck went by. Thank you. 